Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Torge Pedersen from the Software PE Group at Danfoss Power Solutions. And in this video, I will show an additional example of how to use Codesys written PLC code and guide. In the first video, number 38, Plus One Guide PUU Program, I showed already a tutorial about the process adding an existing PLC unit into a guide project and the functionality to convert PUU program into guide. This convert function is necessary due to the fact guide does not support multiple tasks up to now, like a PLC system, for example, is doing. In this video, so part two of importing existing PLC code into guide, I use the project traffic lights developed in Codesys, export this project via PLC OpenXML and import it into guide, including PLC program. So the main intention of this video is to show how to import a complete Codesys project and guide and what steps are necessary. The project logic itself does include a traffic light um, preemption for one car signal light and one pedestrian light. So let's start taking a look into um, Codesys and the project itself. As you can see in Codesys, the project traffic lights contains a main program um, PLC program written in structured text and does include a call of the function block with a traffic light logic. The logic for the traffic light is handled via case instruction as a step chain. The timer for the different steps of the traffic light is handled via one function block called blink loaded with different time values. In addition, this project also includes a DUT, a data unit type with a user specific structured uh, data type called traffic and a global variable list called traffic light preemption. Inside the global variable list, I also added PLC specific simple addressing to see how this is imported in guide. For PLC OpenXML and import to guide, I recommend to delete the qualified only attribute which is used or set for variable list inside the codices or inside codices by default. So more or less, it is a simple but fully developed standard codices project and I will show in the next steps how to import the code into guide. But before we do so, we will have a short look into codices and their code logic. To visualize the code logic, you can use the debugger and change the value of the variables directly or you can use the visualizer. For this video, I created a very simple and easy um, visualization with two buttons and the traffic lights, red, yellow, and green for the car traffic and red and green for the pedestrian traffic. Any of these um, visualization elements has been assigned to the respective global variables, starting with the init button to in initialize or start the project in the controlled state. First, the safety state with yellow blinking for the car traffic and red blinking for the pedestrian traffic. Then change to both red for some seconds before the cycle starts. From red to red and yellow and to green. The pedestrian lights keeps on red as long the request has been forced via the second button. The car traffic lights changes from green to yellow and to red. As soon the car traffic lights changes to red, the pedestrian lights changes from red to green for some seconds before the green light starts blinking to um, yeah, visualize the forthcoming red light again. And the procedure um, starts again. So a more or less well-known traffic light logic, which um, yeah, might differ in some places over the world, but a running system which needs to be implemented into guide and show the same behavior. After a logic test, I will start export this code via PLC OpenXML to import that file to my guide project afterwards. First step to get the code exported from Codesys is to select project export PLC OpenXML. Inside the PLC OpenXML dialog, you have to select which objects should be exported because not all objects can be imported and used in guide. The easiest, fastest and safest way is to select specific types, all of type DUT, data unit type, all of type global variable list, and all of type PRU. These types can be handled by guide. The other types are more codices or PLC tool uh, specific. Now the codices code has been exported into a PLC OpenXML file stored on your disk and can be imported from guide, which is shown in the next steps. 
Inside Guide, I created an empty project called Traffic Lights. Since I will download the code later on the hardware for testing, I selected the template for the MC24 controller as well. To import the PLC OpenXML file into Guide, uh, right-click with a mouse inside the project manager and select Add Existing and PLC Unit and select the PLC OpenXML file. In my project, the PLC OpenXML file with the name Traffic Light PLC. Inside the project manager, we can see that the PLC unit Traffic Light PLC has been added, including the three uh, PRUs, PLC Program Written and Structured Text and the PRU Category Program. And the two function block traffic and uh, blink written in structured text and the category function block. Inside the subfolder data types, uh, the struct data unit type traffic has been added and the global variable um, list traffic light preemption. It is located inside the subfolder global variables. If we take a short look to the global variable list, we can see that the PLC specific addressing has been deleted from the code automatically since guys, a guide does not support this. I do a compile to check the PLC code related errors, warning and hints, and as we can see, the compile ended up successfully. But as I said, guide does not support task objects like PLU type program. The compile was successfully bought because the um, code I imported does not include any call of a PLU program. Otherwise, it looks like in the other video, number um, 38 plus one guide, PU program, where each PU program is called by name, but guide expects uh, and, for, and allows only instances. Please have a look to the other video if you are interested, because the example I use in this video does not provide any call of a PU program. Any PU program needs to be converted into a function block because guide expect that any PU acts as a function block or a function. Just right click on the PU program called PLC program and select convert to function block. But before I do so, I will show how um, guide reacts if you try to use and call the PU program from guide. I add a call PU component into guide and select the PU program PLC program and do a compile. The result is an error which says that the PLC program cannot be called directly from guide and code because it is using unsupported interface items. You see, not much code and steps are needed to implement existing PLC code into guide, but after import PLC code, some more steps are needed to call and to uh, use PLUs and to have access to the variables used in the PLUs for further process inside guide. One thing which needs to be considered is to convert PU program into a function block and exchange the call of PU program with instances. As I already said, guide does not support task objects like PU type program. Just right click on the PU program and select convert to function block. If we take a look inside the PLC program PU converted to a function block, we see that not much happened except the type on the top has been changed. In this video example, the PLC program acts as the main PLU and calls the other function blocks traffic and blink. If the PLC code contain a call to a PLU program, this call by its name needs to be replaced with an instance. Another mandatory point is the call PU component. This guide component is absolutely necessary and acts as the interface between the guide and the called PLU. This means that any data, variable, or signal uh, which is needed has to be connected to the in and output bus of the call PU component. The input bus provides all guide signals into the PU, and the output bus provides all PU signals to guide. As long I only add the call PU into my guide code and assign the PLC program PU, any variable remain inside the PU and can only assessed from PUs. This also applies to the global variables, only usable and visible inside the PUs. To make these variables like the traffic lights, red, yellow, and green available to guide, you have to declare the variables as output inside the PU so that these variables will be provided via the call and PU competent output bus. I declared additional output signals inside the PLC program PU and assigned these to the value of the global variables of the traffic signals. Same for the inputs to initialize and to request the pedestrian light. 
Both input signals need to be assigned inside guide to get both triggered via logic or, like in my case, via a parameter. The output signals are connected to checkpoints to make them visible in the service tool. As you maybe remember, inside the Codices project, the input signals for init and request and the output signal for each traffic signal have been assigned to hardware signals, also called direct addressing. This IEC 61139 standard requirement for language feature is not supported from guide. And since a different hardware can be assumed during the PLC open XML export process anyway, the hardware input and output signals need to be assigned or connected inside the guide project. I used a parameter or a set pulse component and checkpoints for my example, but these can be assigned to real hardware signals, of course, if needed. Since this code is shared via the update center, it does include our standard template, including disclaimer and some information. Inside the application page and subpage PU City Light, the only needed guide code, the call PU component, is located. This component calls the PU PLC program, and the rest of the logic takes place inside the PUs. After I added the PLC code into guide and the previously presented modifications, the, the traffic light project logic written in Codesys has been fully implemented in guide. To test the logic, I downloaded the compiled code via server suit on the Plus One controller and created a simple page. The trigger signals for initialize the code and request for a pedestrian light has been assigned to the added guide set pulse components and the output signals for each traffic light red, yellow and green has been assigned to an appropriate light image which operates each visibility property. Same process which I did at the beginning inside code is to test the code logic starting with the init button to initialize or start the project in a controlled state. First the safety state with yellow blinking for the car traffic and red blinking for the pedestrian traffic then change to both red for some seconds before the cycle starts. From red to red and yellow to green. The pedestrian light keeps on red as long the request has been forced via the second button request. The car traffic lights changes from green to yellow and to red. As soon the car traffic light changes to red, the pedestrian light changes from red to green for some seconds before the green light starts blinking to visualize the forthcoming red light again and the procedure starts again. Same unchanged uh, logic with the same sequence, same timing. Via the PLC Open XML import function to guide, you can easily use the same code written in a different development tool and used in a different system. Even if you continue program and develop and maybe test your code in a PLC environment, you can easily integrate, exchange or refresh this PLC code into your guide project, call it from any place inside your guide drawing code and combine this PLC logic with the extensive selection of more than 300 function blocks and libraries in the field of Propel and Work Function. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One Help Desk. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.